What's going on everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Love and Hip Hop New York. Yeah, got it in advance again. Actually, my connect didn't even come through, but uh, my sister lady Nika, you know, she is a tea spill along with, her, with the rest of y'all. So she was able to give me the video. Uh, she sent it to me this morning. Could have gotten this video up a little bit earlier, but you know, had to get my 12 hours of beauty sleep in. Then woke up and did my morning walk. So if I look a little bit, you know, whatever. I just literally just got done walking. I washed it before I went on the walk, pretty much uh, during my pre-workout, uh, wrote my notes, did the walk, came back. I know y'all probably like, we don't give a fuck about your exercise. Give us the shit. I'm gonna give y'all the shit, okay? So for those of you who want to watch the video, all you have to do is go to uh, my uh, Facebook fan page. Link is down below and you can find it there. All right. So getting into it. Uh, so Mo is um, with Ra and Lexi, and Mariah is with uh, Crisco, and they are pretty much giving their. Well, actually, Mariah, not Mariah Lynn and uh, Cisco were there, so that you know they're pretty much just talking. Cisco is like, I wouldn't expect uh, Mo to turn out the way that she did, and Mariah just like, you know, forget, you know. Mo over here, you need to get with Mo money, and she was like, you know, get with me, they kids, and of them. Um, Mo is pretty much is still turned up, and you know, explain trying to explain herself, not really explain herself, but just give her version of the story to uh, uh, Ra and Lexi. And Ra's just like, well, if there was any chance of me working with this group, more or less her, that's just done. Lexi's just like, okay, you know, she is so fucking out of control, and I need to figure this shit out. So, there's that. Then we get Yandy and Mendeecees. Moving the fuck on. We got Peter and Tara. Moving the fuck on. I've already told y'all. These two, to include me, I'm going to talk about a minute this one time because some shit came out in it. Unless they give me some shit to work with and I'm not rehashing some shit we already rehashed, I'm not talking about this shit. I'm not fucking doing it. So, Yandy and uh, Young B. The only reason why I'm gonna talk about Yandy is because Young B is in this. So Young B is like she gives her rationale. Yandy not hearing it, and you know Young B is laughing it off, and it pisses Yandy off. But I understand because I used to be like that, where if there's other emotions flowing inside of me, I tend to laugh shit off to kind of cope with what's going on. Because I like I said I don't like people seeing that I'm beat up, so that's kind of like a defense mechanism for me. I stopped doing that. Whatever. I just. How the fuck I'm feeling, I'm wet as shit on my sleeve. But Yanni sitting there talking about studio time being booked and everything. My thing is this if the studio time was really booked, it should have been, we're going to talk about you being late once the session is over with. Because last that I checked, unless she owns the studio, you being pay, I, you paying per, the, if I'm not mistaken, by the hour. So why not get the shit done and then hash the shit out with her? Dumbass broad. But uh, Yanni pretty much says that she's going to send her to Tara's etiquette class and then they play the track mariah lane goes to pick up tasha who is her mother she's in her feelings because you know um the person that's supposed to be ha kind of holding her down is getting in the most trouble so her mom uh, shop has shoplifted and got locked up mariah lane spent her uh, rent money to get her mother out and they're arguing and you can see that mariah lane is the mother of the relationship even though she's the daughter and she's kind of laying into her mother just like you know you can't be doing this you feel what i'm saying and literally going in on her, like, you can change your ways, X, Y, Z. The mom's just like, you know, in in essence, I'm going to need for you to, you know, bring that shit down just a little bit because I can see I can get hype on your ass, too. And, you know, it, this is an addiction. You know, like, the whole shop level is an addiction. And with you berating me the way that you are, it makes me want to get high and do other things that are worse than what I'm already doing. And I have shit going on that I don't want to tell you about. And I'm sitting here like, this hoe gonna say she pregnant. That's what I'm thinking. Lo and behold, that, that hoe said she was pregnant. I'm just like, <sighs> I knew it. Mona is not making this shit easy for me. Even though I'm not saying that that is contrived because I do believe that this right here, because here's the thing, we all know reality TV is either scripted or it's uh, like contrived. Like either it's truly scripted or you have situations that are manipulated where from the production standpoint it's fake, but the drama that you see is real shit. And then there's those times where what you get on camera is just pure and I can see some purity in this. And if not, then it's some good ass acting. But, uh, you know, that happens. Am I missing anything? And Tasha says she gonna do better because, you know, she has to take care of her newborn. 
And Mariah whole thing is just like, you can't take care of yourself. And you, yeah, anyway. Young B and Cardi B. So Young B talks to, pretty much was like, if she was going to do this etiquette class, she needed to bring Cardi along with her, you know, to kind of make her laugh, kind of take her mind off things. So they're at Zumba class, they talk about it. And, you know, Cardi B says that, you know, she's going to go and even says that because her manager is saying that she has an accent and she needs to pretty much work on her public relations skills. So she's going to go to this etiquette class. Uh, Lexi meets up with Tretch. Um, I forget. Naughty by Nature. Who was it? Naughty by Nature. Because all I could think of, you down with OPP? Yeah, you know. Like, that was the only thing that was going through my head. I was like, fuck. I but, and apparently that is her uncle. And her uncle is best friends with Mo's dad. So we can kind of see how they know each other. She pretty much is telling him about what went down. And his whole thing is, um, you know, many groups, like many, there's many members in a the group, they don't like each other, but they find a way to coexist. And it's mostly about this right here. So because of this right here, they suck up a lot of shit, but most groups don't like each other. And he was like, if she cannot understand what the fuck she's doing, she's not only going to fuck up the BBOD brand, but she's going to fuck up her brand individually and yours. And he and he pretty much recommended you go talk to, you know, Papa, her Papa, since he's the cash cow because he's investing all the money into this group. Talk to him. Maybe just maybe he might be able to reach her. And she's like, you know what? She decides to do it. Um, Whitney, who is Peter's daughter, goes and meets with Amina and honestly Whitney I'm sorry she gives me Peter and Tara in the face just saying but you know they talk and you know Whitney and because you know Amina's whole thing is you know your father does this and Whitney's whole thing is and, the re and it's two reasons I'm talking about this one Whitney because she was just like yes you know my father tells me that um not to date a man like him but look at the example that he has given me and i didn't say this but other youtubers said this in reference to rich and his daughter ashley you know sometimes your children will pay for the sins of the parent and the fact that he both of them are such man whores the fact that they have daughters you know either a they're gonna well actually not even there more than likely they're going to fall in love for that type of male and they're going to reap what they sold to all of those other women through their daughters and she was even saying it's hard, you know, to even see what he had put my mother through, you know, this, that, and the third. And in her saying that, it made Amina think about her daughter, Corey. She was just like, well, I don't want her, like, pretty much, I don't want to be the, I want to be the example of what to be, not what not to be. And she even reveals that she was pregnant and is no longer pregnant. So... That like that was initially gonna be the only reason I was gonna talk about it is her talking about the abortion, but the fact that Whitney said what she said, and again to all my fellas, like if y'all doing that fuck shit on the real, do yourself a favor, either put them up like literally wear your motherfucking raincoat. You feel what I'm saying? And if not, just understand that when you have children, and it's not a curse that I'm putting out there, but sometimes the children will pay for the sins of the parents. Point blank in the fucking period, and you have to realize your children. Regardless of how much you're around them, they pick up your habits. So the shit that you do, they would, you know, emulate or the person that you are. Uh, and if you're a child of the opposite sex, they tend to gravitate towards that. And whatever you, the wrong you did, you might reap it through your damn child. So keep that shit in mind. What the fuck else? Uh, so etiquette class, really nothing to talk about. It was a fun scene to watch. But all I'm going to say is this. You know, for Tyra to want to sit here and teach these girls etiquette so you didn't display etiquette when it came to you and Amina. So you want to run out of the hallway. You want to sit here and, you know, try to figure out who is lesser of a hoe. Miss me with the bullshit. Uh, Tyra and Tasha, so they go to her sentencing, and you know Tasha was will, was pretty much going to plead guilty to where they was going to give her, I think, up to ninety days, and they were actually going to give um Mariah Lynn her uh, money back, her rent money. But what they pretty much said is because the mother's pregnant, and I would assume that she's closer to the pregnancy, or whatever case may be, or may, actually no. I don't even know where she's at, but she might even be in the first trimester, but they're going to hold the sentencing off for a year so that she can successfully have the child. 
but she's gonna come back for sentencing and Mariah's whole thing is you know regardless of what go down I never want you to go away and she was hurt that her mother even went up there and even chose to do that but I can appreciate that because that shows a mother being very selfless you know and owning up to her shit but they have a they have a good moment they hug it out it is what it is so uh db that's mo's daddy um you know meets with uh lessy he says that his daughter has a big ass head you know sometimes you know she can go too left mo walks in with her mother and her sister i swear all three of the asses was giving me nothing but gross sisters off the motherfucking proud family i'm just saying but walks in and she doesn't like the fact that Lexi has brought her father into this and talking about rude business with her father. But my thing is, if, if he's the motherfucking cash cow and he's investing all the money, then it's wrong. Yes, but it is what it is. And the fact that she went to the father, that means that apparently she felt that the father could reach her because, you know, Mo is unreachable. And, you know, they're going at it the, um, and back and forth. And Mo is even though the conversation is about her she's making everything about her and not about the group and Lexi got mad it's like you know it's not about you all I'm hearing is I I I I I it gets to a boiling point she's like you know what I'm done with this I'm done with her I'm out and the mother is saying to the father you are causing the division and the father is like no I'm actually trying to help these two motherfuckers out and you know more whole thing is well I don't need you to you know uh, progress it's almost just like almost like a handout type thing like i reach back to help you out that's it but it seemed like next week we're probably not going to get a fight per se but we're going to get a whole lot of juice and this entire is going to sit here and reveal that she pregnant even though we knew this shit this past summer we knew we knew well nobody surprised we knew and um yeah, that's all I have. Before I get off, I, I just want to say that uh, I know you guys that watch me, I know y'all probably see like, damn, he hasn't been responding to the comments. He hasn't been, you know, retweeting or uh, responding to tweets and everything. Haven't been, uh, you know, responding to the two Facebook pages that I have. Honestly, I told you guys that January was going to be a rough month. That's why I pre-recorded uh, some videos to upload to do Jumpstart January. Again, y'all know I couldn't do it by you know the rules that were established if anybody mad about it it is what the fuck it is but y'all getting a video for my ass every motherfucking day every, every for the whole month and even if i don't do a video on a certain day if y'all count up all the videos that i do this month it's gonna surpass 31 so i've already fucking done it but um like I said I've been busy so I'm gonna try to get to uh, responding to everything today catching up on some videos but just know that this is a busy month for me and I'm gonna try to get y'all videos as quickly and swiftly as I can as on time as I can but no promises but you guys will get videos and you guys will get content so thank you guys so much for rocking out with me I really really do appreciate it you have no idea how much I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And when I say share, it tells, tells the motherfuckers about my crazy ass and shit. And uh, I will see you guys on the uh, next video. And watch out now and stand fast because I will give you guys a shout out Saturday. All right? Peace.